Hello friends, welcome to our channel CSC Gurus. Moving on to the question number 16. A sort which uses binary concept says that any number is larger than all the numbers in subtree. Of course, larger it is possible somewhat. Smaller is also possible which is, we know that this is heap sort. So where the concept of heap sort which follows a concept of like tree like structure where each element has to be inserted. Uh, there are two uh, types of binary trees you can find here. One is max heap, the other one is min heap. Where in max heap every element, uh, every for every node the descendant all the nodes all the values will be definitely less than and for min heap all are greater than. Simply like this we can take something like 70. I'll take here as 50 here something like 40 here 20 here 10 here 30 here something like 35 so for 70 all these descendants are less than you can see so for 50 these descendants are less than for 40 these descendants are less than right so like this it will be this is we call it as heap i mean a max heap and min heap quietly reverse this will be greater okay for root the, all the descendants will be greater like this and for each node you can see like this arrangement will be there this is so how this that means sorting can be done means if this is the arrangement now i'll take this in an array first i'll take the root at 70 this position next let us suppose i'll take the indices 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this anyway 3 seven elements are there from so 70 now i mean now after deleting this this is empty now i'll keep this 35 here right the last extreme last element and this that means the arrangement will be like this here it will film next here next here next here next here like this so this 35 will come here now it will be checked out 35 40 35 40 50 among these three whether they are following no which is highest 50 50 will be here 35 will be here now here also you need to check it out the condition 35 is greater than 20 and 10 yes true so no need of exchanges or swap so like this next highest is 50 will be taken here and remove here i mean take this 30 here now again check it out 30 35 40 highest is 40 40 will come here 30 will go here anyway no descendants here no 40 will come here okay next the element is 10 okay 40 will go here 10 will come here 10 and 35 30 35 is the highest 35 will come here 10 will come here but you can see 10 and 20 so not following the maxi property so that's why 20 will be here 10 will be here so like this will be taken and you will get the values here 35 here 30 here 20 here 10 so like this arrangement you can find in the concept of heap so like this we can sort the elements you can find here okay this is the arrangement we can take for the concept of heap sort now the next question which is with respect to the heap sort only you can see here the question number 17 the minimum number of interchanges needed to convert the array this array into a heap with maximum element at the root so the condition here maximum element at the root means we must have to construct max heap right so how to construct okay we'll, we'll uh, construct the tree here 89 at the root initially okay anyway first i'll start like this this is a one node this is a totally three three six three nine thirteen elements have to take like this so now this index zero one two three four five six like this seven eight nine ten so now we'll see this one first 89 first it starts from the first empty position that is zero so that's why directly 89 will be taken here okay next the element 19 so next position 0 a of 0 is over a of 1 19 and check the condition 
whether it follows the property of heap max heap yes 89 is greater than 19 fine okay no need of any interchanges or swaps next 40 okay here now is there any interchanges not required okay 89 of course 40 is less than right now the next element 17 here right so next position here it will be taken and check the property is it less than 9 the parent yes true that is fine 12 here is it less than parent 19 yes true next element 2 here and the next element 10 here is it less than parent yes true next element 2 it is less than parent yes if it is less than parent means here it is less than 89 also that is a root okay like this now the next element 5 here it is less than parent yes true next element 7 here it is less than yes true next 11 yes true yes next element 6 yes true this is also true we'll see next element 9 here is it C never you can check like uh, this element only with the parent you have to check other than that you cannot check like 11 with the 17 is not required okay so like this 9 with the parent yes true but finally 70 70 with the parent 10 yes it is not following the property so interchange so 10 here here 70 now 70 with the parent not following the property so 40 here 70 here 70 with the 89 yes following the property 70 is less than 18 now it is fine so how many interchanges we have done only two interchanges right this one one swap and here so only two swaps are required so that's why option c is the correct answer so like this we need to swap uh, whenever there it is not following the property coming to the question number 18 again from the concept of heap so this is very interesting suppose we are sorting the an array of seven integers using heap sort and we have just finished some heapify that means heapify operation i told you know whenever it is constructed as heap tree now we have to get the heap value so how we need to get uh, anyway i'll explain for the previous how to get it as an array uh, for this question for the 17 for this question afterwards i'll go to that one yeah here you can see after this one first 89 will be taken last position that the last index i think the index number 12 and here this place will be replaced with the last element what is the last element 10 now the property of exchange has to be done 10 19 70 highest is 70 70 here 10 here so now 70 will be taken so like this we need to now here also 10 with the property 10 46 so 40 is the highest 40 will be taken here 10 will be here now 10 and 9 fine but here 12 it is there so no so 10 and 9 it is fine now again it will check with the I mean 70 is fine 70 will be replaced with 9 so here 70 and this 9 will be into an array so that is fine and 9 with the swappings so like this it will happen and the array will be look like this so what is the next highest 40 i think so next highest next highest will be filled and this array will be our sorted array okay similarly here it is telling some elements are there some heapify operation is over okay first thing we have to find whether it is max heap or min heap he is not uh, not given the clarity regarding this he told either max heapify or min heapify the array now looks like this after some operations array is like this how many heapify operations have been performed on root of root of heap so till now that means how many operations are filled so the first thing we need to observe from the last anyway we have seen the elements are filling from the last you can see check it out 28 27 12 10 like this so this is can i say it is a descending order whenever there is a descending order we say that yes it is a max heapify if it is increasing order 
we can say min heapify remember this point okay if it is decreasing max heapify if it is increasing min heapify so now let us suppose 28 i think this is the highest why because you can see among these elements highest will be at the last 28 is last 27 second is that is also over that means two operations are over 12 is this highest from the remaining elements no so that's why i can stop here see you have to check the property 28 is it highest among all yes next 27 is it highest among all i mean from the left elements yes now here 12 it is not if let us suppose here if i get 16 i can say that yes 16 is also swapped like that is also sorted so like this so that means one two only two heap operations are over so that's why largest two elements in the last two positions can you take large three elements from the last no why because it's a 12 but there is a one element greater than 12 so like this we need to consider and we can say that only two operations are performed till now so that's why the answer is option b and how this heap sort will be done you can see here also swap the root with the last element that i explained okay then call heapify so i think the root element is initially 28 so that is uh, swapping with the last element anyway irrespective of whatever it may be the last element i think it will be some element whatever it may be next highest you will get it as 27 and next highest like this it will take okay so this is about how we can identify after few operations how many heap few i mean how many operations are performed in a heapify so question number 19 regarding the queue q is an empty queue i'll take an empty queue so front and rear initially so initially q is empty add 5 let us suppose from rear i am entering 5 okay now only one element front is at that position add 7 added add 46 added next delete delete means 5 will be deleted which is in the front now front will be here the first element is 7 next add 13 13 will be added next delete two times delete so 7 will be deleted for the first time next 46 will be, will be deleted for the second time so now f will be here next add 10 10 will be here now what will be the content of q after these operations of course front is marked by f rear is marked by r i think the front is 13 and rear is 10 right okay front is 13 right rear is so option A. So answer option A is a correct one. How many distinct binary set trees can be constructed with three distinct keys? So three keys have taken. Let us suppose I'll take three keys as 10, 20, 30. So how many distinct binary set trees? So let me take the first one as 10, uh, 20, 30. Okay, second one, I'll take 20, 10, on the left, right, 30, is another arrangement, if I take 20 followed by 10, 30, so all the arrangements you can take, right, next, I'll take uh, 30, 20, 10, okay, I'll take one more, 30 10 then 20 this is also fine one more i can take right so like 10 30 20 right like this we can take and is there any other nothing five i can get it so answer is five but what if if i ask you instead of three if i give n distinct case so there is a formula directly you can get the answer right so i'll show that formula that is this is a formula so if n number of n is a number of nodes you have to follow 2 n c n by n plus 1 let us suppose in our case if n equals 3 you can see 2 into 3 6 c 3 which is 20 right 
by n plus 1 which is 4 so you can just give f or any in value let us suppose if it is 5 so 5 into 2 10 c 5 divided by 6 so like this you can consider so this is a formula remember this formula so where you how many distinct minus h is you can construct with n number of distinct keys so we'll see some more questions in the next video lecture thank you